Welcome to Armenia! Yeah, show. And it was about time. You can see it in my finger. We didn't have much time that we could spend in Armenia. We had about six days to make it from Kazbegi to Tehran. Because in Tehran we had to pick up Alex, a good friend of mine, which joined us on our trip for a couple of days. This meant we had to rush through Armenia and we could only visit a couple of spots. Looks like a big road. Yeah, that's the road. We had to do some much needed maintenance. It was time to rotate the tires and to replace the brake pads on the rear axle. We rotate the tires every 10,000 kilometers and include also the spare tire. So all tires wear in equally.
versus new. Yeah, so. And it was about time. You can see it in my finger. Yeah. Another bushing that's broken. This is where we stopped, next to the road, on a parking. Back to standard Armenian roads. These are the streets in the middle of a city. After uh, rotating the tires and changing the brake pads, we drove a bit south and we stopped by one of those picnic areas in Armenia. They are just super well equipped. This is the barbecue area or kitchen, outdoor kitchen. We had a slow morning after we got visitors at night. Some locals came and started their barbecue at midnight. As I asked them to lower the music a little bit so we could sleep, they invited me to have drinks with them and eat with them. I could not avoid to have a couple of beers with them. Luckily, I could avoid the vodka.
we made it to the Yerevan and instantly liked the vibe there. We actually didn't plan on staying, but it felt right to stay for dinner, have some wine and then leave the city later than we normally do. This meant, though, we had to drive at night. And this is why you don't drive at night. Yes, following Google Maps, of course. <laughs> this is a path. No way you can go with the car. We went all in. I think you cannot see much, but a family just saw us going into a home. And just immediately came to us for help. And the kid from the family just stood here in the middle of the of us to tell us where to go. So amazing. Thanks. <laughs> We camped here yesterday, not very successfully because we had a sandstorm at 1.30 in the morning and had to move the car again to have less wind on our popped up. And yeah, now also we are cooking because it's not even 8 and it's 30 degrees inside the car. But the view should be nice. The shadow here, that should be Mount Ararat. We cannot see much right now. The aftermath of driving yesterday into a canal We broke the mud flap We have it in two pieces now So we have to get another one Everything else looks okay just got invited for a coffee on the side of the road We were 30 minutes with them, so with Gagik, the grandmother and the daughter from him um, and we were talking about a lot of things it was sometimes difficult we had to translate to Russian sometimes to Romanian um, but we kind of understood each other so it, it was good um, and we got apples <laughs> we have like a kilo of apples right now because they have a full garden with a lot of uh, trees um, including cherries apples and they also plan other things right now it's just that but it was really nice to, to talk to them uh, so by the way thank you Gagik for everything and try to say it is short a kalim <laughs> thank you
Came all the way down here. Mm -hmm, here. Now we cross to this side and hopefully we can cross the river. This is our last bottle of cider from the Basque Country before we cross to Iran. <laughs> Iradi always making a mess. My grandparents gave it to us before we left. It's really amazing. Everything around here is dry and rocky. But if you continue the road, it goes, starts to go along the river and the whole surroundings from the river are super green. It's super nice, like a little oasis. We are in Kapan, we are stopping to buy some groceries and then we will move on to find a camp spot. In our last camp spot, we tried to address everything we had to prepare for Iran. Drink our last beer, download maps and research about the route until Tehran. Hopefully the last minutes in Armenia. <laughs> 